lovely chaps and chapesses, it's profile time. <coughs> have you missed this, James? I have, I really have missed this. Good. Um, Jürgen Klinsmann. Wow. Oh, all good. Wowzers. Heavyweight. Yeah. Definitely. Decent. All, yeah. In line for the uh, USA job at the moment, I think. Is, is he? Yeah. Because he tour. lived there, basically, isn't it? That seems to be <laughs> yeah, the link. He likes it over there. <laughs> uh, dear. Um, uh, he was born on the 30th of July, 1964. Three years before the summer of love. That's Van right. Van der Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Woo! Good. Um, one of the best German strikers ever. Mm. Yeah. One of the... I think... Would I be... Would it be outrageous to say one of the best strikers in the modern era? Or is that too big, do you it's think? It's definitely up no, there. I, I mean, think, yeah. It's just top 103, lethal, wasn't it? <laughs> top 103. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was lethal. He was, he was, I mean, when he signed, I can remember, oh, you come on to this, when he signed for Spurs, it was like, whoa, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. You know. Do you know what his nickname is? Or was? Go on. The Golden Bomber. Oh, that's nice. nice. Yeah, obviously blonde hair. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, uh, terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> Unconfirmed. Goal scoring <laughs> terrorist. Unconfirmed terrorist. Yeah, good Klinsman. <laughs> well, obviously, Muller was the, the bomber, wasn't That's he? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> reference to that as well. Um, he started playing football at a very young age, as we all do. <laughs> and uh, apparently, when he was eight years old, he was playing for a team and he played every position, including goalkeeper. Wow. Nice. In the same game. That, that, <laughs> that, that would, would be, be amazing. Superb. Yeah, on his own. <laughs> 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 Running around with a player, pair of gloves on. Um, he began playing football uh, in his hometown of Gopingen and uh, just scored lots of goals wherever he went and impressed, quite frankly. Um, he, uh, from 74 till 78, he played for Geislingen and he scored over. 250 goals um, spread out over four years. Not bad. Lots. They don't count, though, Pele, if you're listening. No, that's right. Um, apparently, and I think this needs to be said, his family owns a bakery and operates a bakery. And even though he signed um, for a uh, professional contract when he was 16, he still studied to be a baker. Study? Why would you have to study to be a baker? <laughs> well, just like, you know, bread Surely and stuff. Surely you just pick it up. There is the blonde hair in my bagel. <laughs> I did not ask for this. Let's they knock speak, these on the head now. They, spe <laughs> <laughs> they speak German. Yeah. <laughs> in a German accent. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, Surely the, not the, the studying to be a baker, studying in inverted commas, is just like, well, just watch how I do it. Yeah. There you go, I'll do it. That's what he did. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you know why the baker had brown hands? Yes, I do. It's a good joke, this. I'm going to allow it to be told. Because he needed a poo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Stuff. Anyway, back to Klinsman. Um... More jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he no, yeah. no more jokes ever again. Yeah. He's tired of jokes. He now. signed for Stuttgart Kickers uh, when he was 16, who were a second division Bundesliga side at the time. Sound like a Nazzle team. Yeah, mm, they do, yeah. yeah. Why not? Um, and he uh, he began to get noticed uh, by some of the big boys after a, a couple of seasons with them. And he signed for Stuttgart, mm. the, the big team. Um, uh, during, he had, uh, I think, five seasons for them. Uh, kind of a one in two goal scoring ratio he had for them. Which is what we look for. That's mm. right. Yeah. Um, he helped them reach... Uh, the uh, German Cup final and the UEFA Cup final in 1989 where they were beaten by Napoli and Diego Maradona I remember that mm. um, in 1988 the year before that he was top scorer in the Bundesliga and was named player of the year in Germany um, so uh, this obviously got him attracted to some of the big clubs in inter, Europe Inter 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 Enter Inter yeah <laughs> um, for the start of the 89-90 season he joined uh, there was uh, Andres Bremer and Lothar Matthias yeah. uh, uh, Internationale in Milan that was a great era because the, the Inter had the three Germans that's and, right and Milan had the three Dutch yeah you know? so it was like a bit of a and then, and then obviously it all came to a head in the World Cup in 1990 and, and in that stadium I think y yeah in, exactly in the, in the, yeah, San, in the San, San Siro lovely little narrative Oh, it's, yeah. I, it's a lovely little subplot, James. <laughs> You're a bastard for a subplot. I am, I really am. <laughs> I look for a subplot. If there's a game happening, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think, oh, it's a bit of an unspoiled well, okay, game. World Cup 90 then. Uh, great performance. Performances from Klinsman. Three goals in the tournament, and he obviously won it. A great diving header against possibly Yugoslavia. An awful stage. dive in the final to get a penalty. <laughs> uh, no, well. it wasn't him who went down for the penalty. I thought it was. He got uh, Pedrag, Pedrag or Pedro Monzon sent, sent off. off. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Which was an awful dive. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I hope we're going to come on to this aspect of his character. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're ignoring it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you'll have your chance. Whitewash it all. Yeah, so yeah, he was superb in that German side of the. Uh, him and Voller up front were super, yeah, absolutely yeah, 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 sensational. Um, 
um, well him and Vola played also up front in World Cup 94 which we'll come on very briefly uh, in a moment um, so after World Cup 90 of course they, they won the tournament and he was superb he went to play um, for Arsene Wenger at Monaco hmm. and uh, they they, he didn't win anything there of, of massive note but he they did get to the semi-finals of the Champions League which I remember him but they were beaten off Milan I think it was mm. um, and then of course World Cup 94 he scored five goals including uh, a brilliant one against South Korea the balls played into him in the box he teed himself up with his right, right foot yeah, and then, then swung his left shoulder yeah. oh. Delish. <coughs> That's I mean, one of my I mean, favourite favourite goals. And Spurs signed him off the back of that. They did. Yeah. But but World Cup ninety four, him and Rudy Voller up front, and I've said it before and by Jingo I'm gonna say it again, it was at th- that moment when they linked against Belgium, which produced Barry Davis to say one of my favourite pieces of commentary ever. It's an early kick off here and some of the defenders are still having breakfast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which it's was worth Germany, Germany against Belgium when Voller and Klinsmann took him <laughs> apart. Mm. And as you say, look off the back of that, the Spurs signed well, um, b- because because it was it was been after the World Cup they, under Aussie Ardealers. They did, and, and it was it was he was. I mean, I always stick my neck out mm. and say that he was the last genuinely world class, like top draw player that Spurs signed. They've not signed a player of that magnitude since then, mm. in do you my mean opinion. Reputation wise, just or? well, just an, a, his status in the world game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose I do. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I was, I he mean, was he in the top five or six. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. I mean, right. one could maybe one could maybe like David Ginola, but it wasn't the same. I don't know what you're no. saying. Well, Ginola well, well, never reached those heights yeah. at international level. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. yeah. But what was amazing though when they signed him was, uh, you know, at the time as we've said before, um, that that England they used to have. A few of the big names would kind of finish off their career in England. Yeah. Uh, Rude Hullet, we've often talked about before. His mm. Klinsman was 30, I think he was, at Spurs. He was still on his peak. Yeah. Um, and still a great player. So He um, banged him in as well. But, he, he hit the ground running. But of course, um, he had to um, overturn the. Uh, went over the public, overturn their perception of him because they thought he was a diver, which of course he was. I mean, we can't <laughs> ignore yeah, that. Yeah. He was a, a horrific diver. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, like swan diving, though. Yeah. You know I mean, it, he wouldn't even attempt to really make it look like he'd been fouled. It was just like, whoa. No, he's I remember over, it like. being like a whole new brand of diving. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, but his celebration was a dive as well. Well, yeah, this it, is it. a big influence on Robert Perez, wasn't it, basically? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so he, he came to England. He only stayed a year. Yeah. Um, and. And I think actually everybody in this country, all the most people, really rate and really like Clint. Oh, I like him now as yeah, well. I think he's a good so. pundit. He, he, he had two spells, spells as Spurs, didn't he? he yeah, he yeah, did. He did. But before that, I'm saying, before he came, he's the guy who Germany, he was a part of the German side in 1990. Mm. Um, and. You know, he, he signed for Spurs. He was a diver. People didn't like him. In fact, he was German as well, and he, he totally won us all over. I think. Um, but uh, he, um, he, he, as you say, Pete, against Sheffield Wednesday. I think it was his debut, uh, league debut for Spurs. In towards the end of the game, they won four three, and he scored a great header, and he did the celebration, which is now called the Klinsman dive. Yeah. I mean, that celebration. Anybody in this country sees that that dive celebration where you slide on your chest yeah. after scoring. Every, oh, we did yeah. a Klinsman. Have I have I ever detailed on the podcast uh, how Jürgen Klinsman was directly responsible uh, for me breaking my elbow? <laughs> Tell me, right? the, the, the old scar there. Was oh, easy yeah, to see yeah. there. You did it on Astro, did you? No, no, I was. <laughs> No, I was playing on. Uh, I was playing placed, on Burn playing Bo- tennis. Burn Valley and Hartley, but scored a goal. Tried to do a Klinsman dive, uh, basically wussed out of it at the last mo- minute and no, put my arms out. Oh, you've uh, got to be committed. Uh, you've and got my, to go all and in. my um, and basically my uh, my arm went the wrong way, and that yeah. bit of elbow there started floating down my arm. Ooh. And and the woman can who, that happen? The born lady in uh, <laughs> the northeast said that's the what, worst. This one? That's the weirdest. <laughs> thing. She said that's the weirdest injury I've ever seen. Like she'd never seen that part of the elbow fall off. It's an odd scar. In my head, he's gone over. Like a rowing boat and a misty sort of <laughs> onto an island. <laughs> are you the bone lady? <laughs> <laughs> Why I am ya? Cross me palm with silvers. <laughs> so she was, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> so, that, uh, so he directly <laughs> made me break my elbow. It's his fault. Yeah. And that's why he's going in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of applause for a broken elbow. Woo. Anybody who uh, influences Pete Donaldson breaking bones gets into the deep yeah. end. Sort of <laughs> it's one of those old laws that hasn't been repealed yet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's a bylaw. Hartlepool bylaw. Uh, he scored 20. Nine goals in all competitions of Spurs that season was named Football Writers Player of the Year, mm. um, and uh, it's weird. That you and you I think, think I think that that was the last season to date Spurs finished above Arsenal in the table. Because yeah. I remember him being his first spell being a lot longer. I, I, did exactly so I was much. about to say. I was about to say exactly that. Yeah, did I, so much in that. He year. Can't, just one season. 
Mm. Again, it shows the impact. You know, he has a, 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 a brilliant celebration named after him. He scores a lot of goals. Football rights player of the year, for crying out loud. Um, I did it right in the Cup. finished seventh, well. FA Cup semi final. Yeah. And, and then it, and off he went uh, to um, Bayern Munich after that. I don't really. Re I remember being quite incredulous. I didn't understand why he left. It was odd that he went so quickly after such a, an, an impact. I remember Alan Sugar having a bit of a pop. <laughs> <when he left>. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? It's Lord Sugar, if you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, spoonful of yeah. Uh, so yeah he, he joined Bayern Munich after that and uh, that's a big draw though. I mean Munich yeah. Yeah, 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 in Germany, so. he, won, he won the UEFA Cup with them in 96 and the Bundesliga it almost seems him. that he sort of went to Tottenham to put himself in the shot window yeah. mm. uh, he also won the Bundesliga in 96 97 hey, after that he went to Sampdoria um, he didn't do too well there yeah. um, I remember on Football Italia James Richardson's <laughs> once saying after the break I'm uh, meeting a hot blonde who wants to score it's Jürgen Klinsmann <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, and then he went back to Spurs um, on loan in 98 where he put in a lot of uh, good performances Nine goals in 15 appearances Although four of them Did come against Wimbledon I think It was yeah. Wimbledon I think The way It was a line one That he went back there Yeah yeah Um it was a dangerous one that going back yeah. to it because when Fowler did it, it didn't really yeah. sort of work. Out well, Fowler well. did okay, okay. Though. I think Klinsman was a little bit more successful. You're talking about a player that oh he was, but you're talking about with Fowler. You're talking about a player they used to call God. Yeah, you yeah. Know. no, he called himself that. No, I think they did as well. They they they, they, they uh, held him. It. They, <laughs> you speak to a Liverpool fan about how much they rate Robbie Fowler. Oh yeah, of they, course, unbelievably the highly. ugliest God in the world. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, so. Uh, World Cup 98 um, He scored three goals They got to the quarterfinals That year That was a much older team Oh sorry We've forgotten the Euro 96 of course mm -hmm. Where they won They came to England And won um, He was brilliant That tournament There's a goal He scored against Now were they Were they Was it Russia maybe Or the CIS No CIS was in 92 Anyway he uh, Got the ball Turned the defender Edge of the box could have taken it further in outside of the right boot into the top corner. Beautiful. He's won. He's won a lot of things. For yeah. Klinsman, yeah. You think he about. scores. Do you know what the great thing about Klinsman is? He scored all sorts of goals. Yeah, headers. Yeah. He's a bastard for a volley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spectacular goals, one on ones, tap ins, mm. the lot. Yeah. Quite a slight guy as well. Yeah, so it's just. Seems odd that he had to, to me, he's, he's, strength. Dare I even say almost like the complete forward because he could play off a front man mm. and come and get the ball. He could be on the shoulder of the last man. Mm. Poach Absolute you. handful. Yeah. Him and Voller were devastating up front together. Yeah, in totally. World Cup ninety particularly. And, well, and ninety four. Yeah, yeah. And ninety eight. He did. He did right, but he retired straight after ninety eight. Yeah, that, walking out of the World Cup. Zidane esque. He was like thirty four by then. I think thirty four. Yeah. 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 Um, he was the first ever player to score in three different um, European Championships in eighty eight, ninety two, and ninety six. Uh, three other players. Have done that Vladimir Smitsa Thierry Henry and Nuno Gomez um, and he's the first player ever to score at least three goals in each uh, in three different World Cups well, later he was joined by Ronaldo of Brazil third highest goal, a goal scorer for Germany um, at World Cups and in total um, so yeah quite uh, got a lot under his belt yeah half, half the battle is staying fit with players like that though isn't it it's yeah. like, uh, great yeah. footballing brain though yeah and that's and that's and that's important for for, for, for longevity and stuff like that yeah. as well. Because if you're just going to be a player who doesn't think about the game much, you won't last much longer because you won't be able to adapt. You won't be able to change formation or, mm, or yeah. position he, or whatever. I mean, he had great bursts of pace and great acceleration, oh, he did, no, but yeah, his yeah, game yeah. wasn't all about that. No, it you wasn't. Know, the, the fantastic player he was. So he retired in '98. However, um, whilst he was living in California, he was persuaded to come out of retirement in 2003. Um, and he played under a different name, like a stage name, um, <laughs> Jay Gopingen, um, Gopingen, which is the, the name of the town. Oh, Gopingen is where he's from, yeah. yeah. Um, I was hoping like it was from a computer game, you know, where they oh, yeah, got yeah, the yeah. rights, so they sort of basically <laughs> give a similar <laughs> like name. Like Con, yeah. Cons Man. Yeah. Yeah, was, yeah. I was hoping it'd be something like that. Showtime Chapowski or something. Like, <laughs> 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 Garping Lights. Billy Big Time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he played for Orange County Blue Star. Alvin Rocket. And Barry Gold. Yeah. Um, in the oh, Barry Goals have been brilliant. Yeah, in the American Premier Development League. Nice. So not top draw. He was 39 though, and he scored five <laughs> goals in eight games for them. What division? In, what league was it? The American Premier Development League. Abdul. <laughs> Paul Abdul <laughs> Yeah sponsored by Paul Abdul um, And then of course He uh, became the Germany National coach In the, in uh, 2004 He got a bit of stick About that didn't he well, he, he was he, commuting From California <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, How long were you being Eight Nine hours days. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> California Put the Uber Alice yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right Very good Pete Very good That's right I've got Socrates in my assistant would be fine Yeah that's <laughs> right Put the cones out Um <laughs> 
he actually uh, revamped the management of the national team straight away when he when he got in there, and he said that he wasn't going to pick players on reputation. It was a lot of youth. He, he, he very youth orientated old Klinsman when it came to being a manager because this was after the uh, disastrous Euro two thousand and four showing. Yeah. So uh, he brought a freshness. I think we can all agree. Um, although they didn't have a great build up to the World Cup, there was that time where they lost four one to Italy, and every, all the Germans mm. were thinking, Piping "Crap, up. We, we're yeah. hosting the cup, and we're going to be absolutely humiliated." You know. Um, and he was a very offensive uh, tactical manager, and they and that <laughs> a lot of <laughs> fucking scar. <laughs> Keegan, so Keegan. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> and so, uh, although I think we can all agree that probably the best thing he did as Germany manager was to put Big Jens in number one yeah. uh, in goal instead of yeah. uh, Oliver Kahn. A statement of intent. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there was a few. Well, they got to the semi, which isn't terrible. They they did, well, but who would have thought? Because before the before the tournament, they were getting a lot of stick, and uh, people were saying, "This is ridiculous." He's commuting from California he's messing around he's not picking certain I players. agree with them that is ridiculous yeah, yeah. well exactly make they, an effort they, they started yeah. off with a 4-2 win against Costa Rica it's not like Rica. he doesn't speak the bloody language yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> he started off with a 4-2 win against Costa Rica which was a very entertaining game but they looked poor at the back German yeah. and you thought hang on a minute here. they're going to struggle I remember them just being quite old not yeah. in that tournament Are they not old and slow? Not in that tournament, no mm. he, brought in the, he brought in players like Schweinsteiger Oh, of course he did, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, it, yeah You yeah. missed that I have, yeah, That's sorry. exactly what I said That mm. he put in He brought a freshness He brought in the youth And, and did away with Sometimes the, uh, my memory lets me down Clearly <laughs> Memory of about two <laughs> seconds ago When you said it Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also called you an arse <laughs> Yeah um, uh, Remember that um, uh, Who would have thought They'd have finished third After that game Is what yeah. I'm saying um, no, absolutely, not right. Not absolutely right Absolutely right So after the, after the, the tournament um, Where Germany were Really good. There was a lot of support, um, public support for Klinsmann to. Oh, fickle! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> to, to the carry fickle on. Germans. Yeah. Uh, he like he was right. even awarded the Federal Cross of Merit in Germany. Yeah. Did, did he have it? Did he accept it in um, California? Um, Sorry, I can't be here today, <laughs> on a video screen. You couldn't send me a purple heart. You said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, but he's he's he played a sort of high tempo attacking style, and he encouraged all the international sides, um, all the, the different age groups, to play that from the under 17s upwards, and. Uh, when uh, Germany reached the um, 2008 European Championship final in Austria under Joachim Love, Yogi Love, Yogi yeah. uh, the federal head uh, Theo Svanziger, um, who Klinsmann was sitting alongside at the match, he said Jürgen played an enormous part in the development of this team. It was also his final. And in 2009, Germany won European youth titles at under 17, under 19, and under 21 levels. Wow. And a lot of that was attributed to Klinsmann's uh, implementation. That's, of, uh, that's of, the word of, I was searching around for. Yeah, they, they've, they, and I mean, even the 2010 team, people say, were very influenced by Klinsmann's development programme. But those youth team um, results, there has been a lot more. Is, there was a massive overhaul of German football, which, which Klinsmann was a part of, but yeah. there was a lot more to it than that, though. Sure. I'm not it, taking anything away from him, it's his profile. It's not a time or place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying there's but more he was, to it. He was a huge part of that, and uh, um, he's, he's a worthy entrant to the Dean Windass Hall of Fame. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Here he comes. Here he comes. Dive in. Yeah. <laughs> Dive in. Yeah. Sliding in, Jürgen yeah. the Jerk.